Northwest Technical Institute is Rethinking Education. This segment is sponsored by NWTI. We've got Dr. Jim Rollins and Mark Moreland joining us to share a little bit more. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. Thanks yeah, for being thank here. Thank you. We're really glad to be here. Yeah. Thank you both. Yeah. Let's start with what is NWTI? NWTI is a career and technical institution. Uh, we're teaching students trades that they can develop careers in to serve them the rest of their life. And in Northwest Arkansas, with economic growth, new industry seemingly on every corner, you can imagine the needs of workforce. Yeah. And so we're really well positioned to work as partners with industry leaders to tailor make learning programs to meet the needs for their employees. So sure, it's, sure. it's an exciting place to be. It yes, sounds yes. like it. And yeah. speaking of exciting, let's talk about some new projects maybe that you're working on at the Institute. The staff of the school is committed to creating a new NWTI. The school itself is 45 years old. Wow. Phenomenal staff, served our community for all these years. But again, with the changing needs of the workplace, we have to redesign our programs of study and many times expand our programs of study. Okay. So at this point in time, we're really focused on things like allied health, uh, ammonia refrigeration, the food industry, mm -hmm. a new CDL program. You can imagine the trucking center of the universe, yes. I think, yes. right here in Northwest yes. Arkansas, yes. and the number of drivers that are needed. And those are just examples of uh, what we're trying to do to stay current, to be relevant, and uh, be a full partner with industry. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you talk about um, the workforce, and I imagine that business partnerships are very important for NWTI. Can you talk more about the business partnerships that the Institute has? Well, just last evening, for example, every academic program, every uh, diploma program, apprenticeship program in the school has advisory councils where there's representatives from industry, people are frontline industry workers. And last night we had our annual advisory meeting, fall advisory meeting. Had about 200 oh, people from okay. the workplace come wow. right in and talk with our teachers about the program of study. And what, there's a formula we work on every day. We wanna make sure that the programs we offer are rigorous, that they're relevant to the needs of the workplace, that they're steeped in really strong relationships, teacher to student, all with the highest expectations. Those ingredients in place should prepare every student uh, to be a great employee when they go into the workplace. Yeah. And yeah. having those business leaders sit with our instructors and talk about the curriculum and how student life is going, that's something that's important and helps build the curriculum yeah. and make it relevant. Yeah. Sure, absolutely, because they're the ones that are out there doing the job. And so having that relationship absolutely. with the people working and the teachers, make sure that, to your point, uh, Dr. Rollins keeps up with that relevancy. That's right. Mm -hmm. Industry changes so quickly, uh, almost by the moment, if the needs drive it that way. Schools historically have not been able to adjust that quickly. Mm -hmm. But when you've got frontline workers working directly with a teacher, you can really accelerate that change and keep us... Uh, more focused on the standards of the day. Yes, right, absolutely. and you're talking about all those relationships too with the business leaders. How important is community outreach mm -hmm. for NWTI? Well, it's essential. Uh, and uh, Mark uh, is our public relations director, getting the message out to the people. You know, thousands of people drive in front of our school every day, but do they really know we're there? Do they understand what's going on in the school? And do they understand how they might could connect with the school themselves because we've all got to continue to be lifelong learners. And, sure. uh, yeah. and that's but, where I get out and try to talk to clubs like uh, we were at the Rogers Rotary yesterday. Okay. And uh, I'm actually president-elect of Springdale Kiwanis, so I'll book myself as a speaker <laughs> for that one. That's right. Shameless plug. Yes. Love that. <laughs> Shameless plug. And also get in front of high school counselors because yes. there's still a lot of people in the area that don't know about NWTI, even though we've been there since 1975. So we've got still got some work to do. Absolutely. And speaking of that, maybe our viewers right now want to reach out to you. We've got some information there on the screen about how you can do that. Mark, what's something you would say to the public uh, to have them come and mm -hmm. check you out? Uh, one good resource is to go to uh, nwti.edu. That's our website. 
and it is very robust and has a lot of information on it. We're also have, we also have a Facebook page, uh, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, okay. or you can call us directly yeah. at the number 751-8824, and uh, we're there to help, and call, we do tours. If somebody wants to drop in and talk to us and be seen around the school, you don't have to have 10 or 20 people. Okay. We'll right. take That's one or that. two yeah. around the school. Yes, nice. it's great. Gentlemen, that. thank you so much, Dr. Rollins. Mark, we really appreciate both of you being here and sharing yes. this. Today. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank you. Thank you, you so much. Absolutely, yeah.